is again, if there was no project, then you'd have no debt, so you determine interest based upon what you spend. So we're going to now get into this a little bit more. It's something called weighted average accumulated expenditures. So what happens is, this is much simpler than it sounds. So in any given year, do you take out a one loan draw? You know, do you do construction on one period, get one bill, and then that's it, and it's outstanding the whole year? Wouldn't that be simple, right? But that's not reality, right? The reality is you do work over the course of a year. So for one month, you have $100,000 in loan draws. The second month, you take out another 100000 Now you have 200000 The following, you know, then you don't do anything for a couple of months, then you have bills and you incur more costs. So what you have to do is figure out what's the average that I spent over the year. Okay, you have to figure out that amount. What's the average debt that I incurred during the year? That's called your weighted average accumulated expenditures. So you figure out how much was spent during the period to construct the asset. That was the average that you accumulated. And then you figure out the interest rate that was in effect during that same time period. Okay, so let's see what that means here as an example. So let's say as of, on January 1st, I, as of January 1st, I incurred $300,000 in, in, in expenditures that I, I put through my loan. My loan's going to now go up by $300,000. So for 12 out of 12 months, I have $300,000 of debt from this construction, okay? And then, this is a very simple loan. So in July, I take out another loan draw for another $400,000, okay, um, for more bills. And so for 6 out of 12 months, I have $400,000 outstanding, which means really $200,000 on average for the year. So my average accumulated expenditures for the year is $500,000 because some of it was outstanding for the whole year. Some of it was outstanding for only six months, and this can be go on and on and on. This, you could do this every single month. This is a very simple example. Okay, what's my average accumulated expenditures? This is the average that I spent, and then the next question becomes, what's the interest rate? That's what you have to capitalize. You get it? So you're doing construction on a building. You're doing construction on a building. As of January 1st, I have $300,000 of debt outstanding to construct that building. This building is not yet placed in service. In July, I incur another four hundred thousand of costs that I'm going to put through a loan. I request I, I literally take four hundred thousand dollars of bills. I submit it to the bank. I say, I need to pay my contractors. Can you give me four hundred thousand dollars and increase my loan balance by that amount? So the bank says, you know, they, they look at the bills. They give you your four hundred thousand dollars. So for six out of twelve months, you have another four hundred thousand dollars outstanding on that loan. On average, that means for the year you had it about two hundred thousand for the year. Okay? So your total related to that loan, related to the construction of that asset that you took out in loans for the year was $500,000. Make sense? So what's the interest rate that you're paying on that $500,000? You figure out what that interest rate was and that's what gets capitalized. Okay? So of course, for, unfortunately, the interest rate is not always that straightforward. But weighted average accumulated expenditures is how much did I have outstanding and for how much of the year did I have that, that amount outstanding? Okay?